Hello everyone, my name is Killer Chicken, and I am back with another video. Don't be deceived, this is not another Harry Potter minifigures video, but it's close. I was walking around Walmart, back in the Lego section of course, and I came across this. It's Harry Potter's Journey to Hogwarts. This is a really fun poly bag that I saw back in the typical poly bag area with the base plates, and I was really excited to see it because I had seen a video about this on YouTube, and I wanted to get it because of some of the things that it included. As you can see, just some of the art. We've got the Harry Potter logo, of course, and the Lego logo. Also some more of this wispy blue stuff, and then the sky blue color up there. As you can see, you've got the Wizarding World logo down here. This is set number 30407, ages 6 and up. 40 pieces. Uh, not much to see back here except for a bunch of technical stuff. Anyway, this retails for $3.99 in the U.S., has 40 pieces, like I said, and that's a pretty good price to part ratio, 10 cents a piece. And anyway, yeah, let's go ahead and open this up and then we can get into the minifigure and the little set. <laughs> Alright everybody, now that it is all good and built up, let's go ahead and take a look at it. As you can see, you've got your minifigure here, but let's take a look at these, these small little builds before we head into the closer look at him. As you can see, first we have this very nice build of a birdcage. Of course, it is going to be extremely big, seeing how this is a very big owl. And no, the bird cannot actually fit through these bars. Totally can't. So don't worry about that, he is not gonna get out. He, he, he just can't so you'll probably have to re remove the top of that if you want to get him out but anyway as you can see if we take an even closer look they do make use of these pretty cool new like pearl gold golden studs with the holes in them i'm pretty sure that's the first time we're getting these i don't recall ever getting uh the stud the pearl gold studs with holes in them so that's pretty cool as you can see they just use that kind of torch piece for the bars and they do have a hook up here if you want to connect it to something so that's that over here we have the trolley and eh, I'm, I'm not i'm i'm not too big on this first of all they use these kind of little uh peg holes for the wheels instead of actual wheels so it kind of just slides along and i don't know how good that is for the bottom of this if it's just sliding along a surface but the contents are pretty good seeing how you get a cauldron cauldron and we don't get that we don't we don't get cauldrons very often so that's that's a pretty good inclusion also a school book and it has the spell wingardium liviosa of course if you're only true true Harry Potter fans would know what that says up there on the top, which is indeed Wingardium Leviosa. So anyway, that goes in there. Also, we have, yeah, whatever, we have the suitcase, which is going back to the old suitcase. So we do not, we do not get the nice Newt Scamander suitcase. We still get this one that, like I said before in my last video, it tends to break, depending on how many times you open open it and close it but anyway you can fit some stuff in there so anyway that's a thing pretty sure that's what he's supposed to be putting his like clothes and stuff his pajamas they have this awkward little dark red two by one brick here of course to put the cauldron on but it's still kind of weird I, I don't know how to feel about it it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't please me the way i see it whenever whenever you've got your little trolley going on i just I, I don't know it stands out kind of awkward i don't know maybe it's all they could do to be able to get the cauldron to sit on here. Anyway, that's that. Let's go into the minifigure. All right, so as we've seen before, as Harry Potter's first year going into the School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, he's got his stuff over here, his bird, his cauldron, his school books, but wait. It looks like he's already been chosen into Gryffindor. What's that about, Harry? Yeah, <laughs> Lego apparently made the mistake of giving this, this minifigure his school clothes already. So, even though this is Harry's journey to Hogwarts, he's already in <laughs> Gryffindor. So, maybe this is his second year, but I don't think he, I don't know if he keeps his, his, his clothes. But anyway, pretty sure this is supposed to be first year. That's a little bit, bit of a mistake on Lego's part, but overall, this is a pretty good minifigure. Anyway, I am very happy to get it. I do not have one of this version of Harry 
but I do have this hair piece and this face, which he does. Oh man. Wow. Yeah. The brand new, brand new minifigure thing there when their heads like are extremely hard to turn for the first time. Anyway, yeah, he does have the scared face and the the just content happy face, which I did get in Aragog Slayer, but the the short legs and the body is new for me. As you can see, he does indeed have this darker brown wand, which I love. And you do get an extra one on the kind of wand rack. These are made to be able to put into the minifigures. If I can, minifigures hand, if I can get that in there. Anyway, yeah, there we go. So these are way better than the one bar pieces that we had a long time ago in the 2010, 2001. Did, what was it back in 2000? I don't know. Uh, but anyway, way better than previous one things. They actually went ahead and made an entire mold for it, which I think is pretty proper of them to do since a, it's a very, very distinct looking piece. Anyway, that's all I have to say about this minifigure. Let's go ahead and take a look at the instruction book because it's pretty cool. As you can see here, you've got your typical polybag booklet. As you can see, you do have the Hogwarts Express back there. It's some pretty good, pretty good art. As you can see, Wizarding World down there. And it's just an up and down picture, pretty good. Anyway, it just opens up. Got your advertisement on the back, you can win. Anyway, so yeah, it opens up like that, but I am I really like how that looks. I don't know, something about it makes makes me happy. <laughs> but anyway, that's, that's the instruction book, that's that. We can go ahead and head out to the end of the video. All right, everybody, there is my very small review on the Harry's Journey to Hogwarts poly bag. This, again, can be picked up at a Walmart. I'm pretty sure that these type of poly bags are Walmart exclusives. So, anyway, that's what's going on there. Anyway, this is a pretty, pretty small set. I really like it. I really love the inclusion of this cold drawn piece, which you don't see very often, and this cool new folding open book piece. I also love getting another owl piece, and those golden studs with the holes in them are pretty cool. Even though the Harry Potter minifigure isn't very accurate, to this scene, it is still a pretty good minifigure to get if you don't want to have to get the, the the Great Hall set if you want Harry Potter in his school clothes. So anyway, pretty good set. Be sure to pick that up if you don't want to get the big sets, but you still want something Harry Potter. That's what I'm doing. So anyway, there we go. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, and if you enjoy my content, please be sure to subscribe. That would be great. Also, comment below your thoughts on this set. And if you want to, you can share the video. That would be great. And anyway, so yeah, thank you guys so much again for watching, and I'll see you next time with another video.